sober living near me. This article is the continuation of the previous post about halfway house near me in Oakland however, this includes the all-gender sort of sober living facilities that everyone is permitted to utilize. Before we start do you ever consider that sober living homes are the greatest solutions for you? Do you need to be in sober living? Sober living is a great choice for persons in recovery who have a strong foundation built on medical and psychological treatment, as well as a general concept of where they want to go next in their recovery. It is not, however, addiction therapy and it is not, either, a permanent answer to post-rehab housing. Various types of sober living facilities provide varying degrees of recovery assistance. Some provide comprehensive help with strict standards for all residents, while others provide merely the assurance that other residents will stay clean and sober and that drugs and alcohol will not be present on the grounds. At various phases of rehabilitation, different amounts of assistance and care may be required. For example, if you have been in an inpatient addiction treatment program for a year and want to maintain a high level of support while working toward moving out on your own, a sober living home that offers outpatient care or in-home therapy and support may be your best option, with the option to reduce your number of therapy sessions per week. A less structured sober living home, on the other hand, may be more suited to your requirements if you only need a secure and assured sober environment while you look for a job to support you in a new house that is also drug-free. Sober Living in Oakland, California Sober living homes in Oakland, California are occasionally mistaken as shelters for the homeless. This is a pure myth. The sober accommodation centers are intended for young men and women engaged in a life of sobriety. These homes are a step down from an acute residential treatment center, giving extra help but not as severe as an acute residential treatment facility. The sober hostels support students in mending their everyday lives and resettling into the community when they have regained. Rent, food and therapy are all charged at the top sober living houses. Each house has its own set of house rules, shared tasks and expectations for its members. In this way, we try to organize all sober living houses throughout Oakland, California for you to access quickly in a one-stop shop approach. Here are some of the sober living houses in Oakland, California that is currently available. 1. Fed Finch Youth and Family Services For children, young people and families across California, Finch Youth Center offers a continuum of high-quality mental health, education and social service services. The objective is for clients to be properly serviced in the least restrictive setting possible, based on their requirements, so that they may perform at their best. Fred Finch Kids Center has become a national leader in delivering creative and effective treatment for youth with severe emotional disorders and developmental impairments as a result of achieving this goal. Fred Finch Teen Center, which started as an orphanage in 1891, began offering residential therapy programs for children and youth in the 1950s. In the last 10 years, we've greatly increased the number of adolescents and families we support via community-based programs throughout Northern California. Today, the organization serves approximately 1,100 adolescents and families each year via a range of programs. Young people ages 4 to 24 with psychiatric illnesses, many of whom have been physically, psychologically and emotionally abused and taken from their families, communities, and schools, are served at the Fred Finch Youth Center. Youth transitioning out of foster care and residential treatment centers, as well as those who have been homeless, are served. 2. Partnership for Affordable Housing, PA The Partnership for Affordable Housing, PA is a group of certified clinical social workers that work together to offer temporary housing and basic life support services to people and families who are displaced. This organization was formed with the main goal of providing transitional housing support and vital life services to at-risk groups such as low-income families, the elderly, veterans, and the homeless. PA offers life-sustaining resources and a roadmap to recovery and self-sufficiency to temporarily displaced families and individuals via intervention counseling and a network of referral agencies. PA collaborates with a variety of agencies, organizations, and people to ensure that our clients get the most up-to-date information and vital services, allowing them to become self-sufficient and dignified community members. 
3. Off the Street Ministries Off the Street Ministries is a Christian-run transitional working recovery program. They educate men on good work habits and how to live in a Christ-like manner throughout recovery. In a secure, stable, clean, and sober environment, they give stable housing, progression into sustainable work, and moral and spiritual rehabilitation. 4. Humanistic Alternatives to Addiction, Research, and Treatment, H.A.A.R.T. Addiction to heroin, painkillers, or other opiates may be terrifying, the loss of control and the harm done to lives and relationships can feel insurmountable. The Heart Oakland believes that everyone can thrive and enjoy a life free of the dread, drug sickness, and cravings that plague addicts lives. Positive esteem for one another and mutual respect are pillars of their therapy, which helps individuals live stable, drug-free lives. They understand that opiate addiction may be complicated by several other addictions and mental health disorders. Its method combines medical treatment with professional psychotherapy to address every facet of an individual's opiate addiction. In a way that supports self-regulation, Heart Oakland combines professional counseling with legal and medically supervised access to opiate replacement therapy. Their common purpose is to make a positive difference in the community by creating a safe and effective environment for those who are addicted to opioids and need help. Heart is a fully licensed non-profit clinic that follows the rules set out by the local, state, federal, and joint commission. They aim to establish a secure, organized atmosphere where those battling heroin addiction or opiate misuse may find a trustworthy, dependable road to recovery and wellness. They don't expect people to quit using right away since they're a harm reduction clinic. Rather, they strive to minimize damage to ourselves and others. Every move toward health, wellness, and rehabilitation that decreases damage is a step in the right direction. 5. Telecare As a family and employee-owned firm, they are committed to respect, growth, and collaboration. They believe that prioritizing cultural humility, equality, and inclusion, CHEI, as a strategic priority will allow them to achieve their goals more completely embody their principles and evolve into a more successful and powerful provider. At all levels of telecare, the company is dedicated to promoting cultural diversity, humility, equality, and inclusion, CHEI. They use their core beliefs to advocate for change on a larger scale and improve their healthcare system to minimize injustices and disparities in healthcare while improving accountability, transparency, and inclusion. They think that their variety is one of their greatest assets. They are dedicated to ensuring that people of all races and ethnicities, all manifestations of gender identity and sexual orientation, religion, and members of any protected group within telecare feel supported, appreciated, and a feeling of belonging. They will work tirelessly to eradicate any behaviors that marginalize members of their community. They recognize that to provide outstanding and successful mental health treatments, they must first recognize and address how racial and other prejudices, misunderstandings, and systemic injustices affect their work. They are committed to working together in good faith fully cognizant of their human flaws and faults, to develop and evolve their organization, workplace, and services for the benefit of their employees, communities, and those they serve. 6. St. Mary's Center St. Mary's Center provides counseling, housing, nutrition, advocacy, and social assistance are all part of their goal to improve people's lives. Mary's Center an autonomous non-profit social service organization with offices and five service sites in San Pablo Avenue. Transitional housing, which has 41 flats, helps elderly men and women make the move from homelessness to permanent residence. Seniors are prepared for housing via counseling, case management, and housing navigation. With the help of money management and advocacy, seniors may remain in their homes. 7. BART Programs for almost 40 years, BART Programs has provided high-quality outpatient medication-assisted therapy and counseling. Their addiction treatment professionals realize that opioid use disorder is a chronic, relapsing condition and that their patients need additional assistance to be successful in their recovery. They believed that with the correct treatment program and support system, individuals may alter their life. Thousands of individuals have benefited from their commitment to providing low-cost, high-quality, 
evidence-based treatment options for opioid addiction. Their team has extensive expertise guiding patients through the difficulties of rehabilitation, assisting them in overcoming these obstacles and leading better, more productive lives. Opioid treatment programs, mental health services, and integrated primary care are all part of the BART continuum of care in certain locations. Patients have recovered from opiate use disorder and improved their general quality of life because of these programs and their linkages to resources in the areas they serve. 8ST Paul's Towers They have made a continuing commitment anchored in their Episcopal tradition and principles for almost 50 years as a non-profit, public benefit organization. Will you strive for global justice and peace, and will you respect the dignity of all people? Their Episcopal heritage demands. As they endeavor to respect everybody, they are strongly shaped by the same. By developing strong and engaging communities, connecting people with the resources and connections they need to succeed, and giving compassionate assistance, they think they can help individuals strengthen their health and purpose. 9 Friendship House American Indian Lodge Their team is committed to breaking the dysfunctional cycle that has been handed down from generation to generation. They offer cultural awareness and sensitivity to their work as American Indians, which creates trust, understanding, and accountability with their clients. Many of their friends, neighbors, and tribe members are battling drug misuse and other associated difficulties. Their programs help American Indians and Alaskan Natives achieve and sustain recovery via a peer-to-peer -peer support approach. They employ a culturally based American Indian and Alaskan Native model that was developed with the help of people who have had comparable life experiences. The Indian Health Service has recognized its program as an exceptional organization for great accomplishment and clinical innovation for years. The Commission on Accreditation of Rehabilitation Facilities, CARF, has awarded them national accreditation, California State Department of Alcohol and Drug Programs has given them also complete licensure and certification. According to the United States Department of State, to the census, over one-fourth of all American Indians live in poverty. Disproportionate imprisonment rates, adolescent suicide, unemployment, high school dropout, diabetes, domestic violence, and drug abuse all result as a result of this. Many of the issues confronting Indian communities are socio-political in nature, reflecting a long history of institutional and structural racism, oppression, criminalization of Indian rights and languages, the collapse of tribal family systems, forced migration, and widespread imprisonment are only a few examples. For many of their customers, there isn't just one problem that has to be solved such as it's about more than simply drug abuse, it's about a bevy of overlapping and concurrent issues. Among their accomplishments are the following. 87% of the population. The number of customers who reported a stronger sense of social connection increased. 87% of Friendship House graduates Sustained an increase in social connection six months after graduation, compared to 61% at admission. 82% Six months later, the majority of customers were clean and sober. 92% of Friendship House graduates Had not used alcohol or illicit substances in the previous 30 days, compared to 41% at the entrance. 30% of the total. A decrease in depression was seen in a large number of consumers. 78% of Friendship House graduates reported alleviation from despair and anxiety, compared to 48% at admission. Won the point at Rockridge, a residential care facility in Oakland, California, where you or a loved one will encounter a welcoming setting full of friendly faces. It's a place where everyone feels immediately at ease, where comfort and compassion coexist. They are a first-class assisted living complex with incredible facilities and fun activities for residents. The Point at Rockridge creates a warm and welcoming atmosphere by combining privacy, safety, security, and community. Their community has an AccuShield thermal temperature scanning kiosk that allows them to monitor workers and guests for excessive temperatures and reduce resident exposure to sickness as part of their commitment to their health and safety. 2 Family Bridges Inc. A multidisciplinary team of healthcare specialists, including mental health providers, social workers, nurses, and housing navigators, 
works at the location to provide case management services to the most vulnerable seniors and adults suffering health or social difficulties, as well as homelessness. Oak Street Community Cabins, OCC, is one of six outdoor, 24 7 emergency shelters constructed by the City of Oakland, and provides 38 beds and up to six months of stay for the houseless. In conjunction with Family Bridges personnel, OCC residents can recover from the trauma and stress of living fully outdoors and concentrate on their road to securing a permanent home. The purpose of Family Bridges Community Health Home is to work with their clients to assist improve their overall health and well-being via offering better care management for our clients' health, housing, and social support requirements. They strive to support those with severely complex medical, cognitive or behavioral health problems, who are at immediate risk of being hospitalized or institutionalized, such as a variety of chronic illnesses, repeat avoidable institutional care, excessive care consumption, and slash or disorganized care, serious mental illness, substance abuse, homelessness, homelessness at risk, and housing insecurity. They also provide the following services. Find physicians and get appointments. Coordinate the treatment they get from multiple providers. Understand their prescribed medicines. Get follow-up care when patients leave the hospital. Establish a connection to community and social services, such as food and shelter. 1 YMCA The YMCA is the biggest non-profit organization committed to improving people's lives and communities. They assist individuals in connecting to their mission, potential, and one other daily. They concentrate on assisting young people, increasing health and well-being, and motivating action in and across communities when they work locally. Learn more about how you can help your community by volunteering, donating, and advocating. Their programs and services are centered on achieving people's objectives and strengthening communities, which are their major areas of influence. With their diverse range of services, you may get the aid you need while also helping your community develop. 2. Habitat for Humanity Anyone who thinks that everyone deserves a decent home is welcome to join Habitat for Humanity East Bay slash Silicon Valley An affordable place to live is welcome to volunteer, regardless of race, religion, age, gender, political views, or any of the other distinctions that all too often divide people is welcome to help with the work. Finally, regardless of color or creed, Habitat for Humanity welcomes volunteers and supporters from all areas of life as well as people in need of quality homes. Habitat for Humanity International and its related organizations do not proselytize as a matter of policy. This implies Habitat will not provide help based on individuals adhering to or converting to a specific religion, or listening to and responding to communications intended to inspire conversion to a particular faith. Habitat East Bay slash Silicon Valley has always been happy to be a transformational part of their homeowners' lives, and they break ground on new projects and dedicate completed houses with this feeling of pride and optimism. They now have more than transformational tales. They commissioned Bartlett Cultural Connections to perform a large survey of their homeowners as part of the outcomes of a social impact study gave some actual information to back up their family's statements. The figures reveal substantial increases in family, retirement, and education savings, as well as remarkable gains in health and well-being. They also noted a higher than average high school graduation rate, as well as a lower than average high school dropout rate tendency of Habitat kids outperforming their predecessors in terms of scholastic achievement. Thank you for taking the time to read this article, we hope you found the information you were searching for. Moreover, if you wanted to know more about this topic simply give us a call now and get help. We can assist you in finding sober living homes in Oakland, California.